Kia ora um, I want to stand here and salute all of you who have taken part in this candidate challenge so far and to congratulate those of you who have made it to the shortlist. The Internet Party represents a generation that is disrupting the establishment right across the world. In the world of business, in the world of the arts, of the media, of culture, of technology, and now here in Aotearoa in the world of politics. Right now in this room and online around Aotearoa, a new political leadership is meeting to choose our leaders and the political wing of a disruptive generation. Not in gentlemen's clubs, not at factional summer barbecues, not behind closed doors or in the private lobbies of parliament, but openly and with true style. Our mission is to disrupt and reinvent parliamentary politics in New Zealand. To disrupt and reinvent progressive politics right here. Actually, why stop here? The internet generation is disrupting and reinventing politics everywhere. Let's not underestimate our significance as part of a global movement. No pressure here, candidates, but we are being watched. Well, we knew that, didn't we? But not just by those whose mission it is to block progress and capture democracy in the interests of the few, but by our friends, our allies, our admirers, those who are looking to us to prove that the spirit of the internet, the spirit of freedom, connection, inclusion, and innovation can transform the way that we do politics. The old way of politics just does not cut it in an internet world. Like the internet, our politics is about expanding the possible. It is about embracing the most intrinsic of human values. Values like justice, broad-mindedness, community, forgiveness, love, and care for the environment. These are values that represent abundance. And the more they are shared, the more abundant they become. Indeed, they are the very values of the internet itself. For their part, the establishment trades in the language and the values of scarcity. Wealth, power, status, hierarchy, public image, values which by their very nature cannot be universally shared. So it's the establishment's job to try and narrow the political discourse to these kinds of values. So when we go out there to promote free tertiary education and, and a free education system from early childhood to old age, their first question isn't why or what will that make possible, but how much? Imagine if the creation of the internet had been left to such accountants. Imagine that instead of declaring that New Zealand would become, and I quote, a prosperous nation of free people in the southern seas, Michael Joseph Savage, the father of the welfare state, had confined his generation's dreams in the way that some would confine ours. Savage followed through on his pledge with everyone having the right to a job, affordable housing, and the best of education. Parenting was valued as a service to the nation. In the 1980s, Savage's promise of a free and prosperous people came to an end. And we are at the end. We cannot wait another three years. 
That is why we are all here today. You know, whether it likes it or not, every generation has to take its place in political leadership. So let's just, in a little thought experiment here, fast forward another 20 years from this moment that we are sharing today. And just imagine what our political leadership will look like as a country if we don't intervene now to change the track that we are on. Political leadership is born from political empowerment. And if we look at the situation of younger New Zealanders now, and we fast forward 20 years, without our intervention, we are on track to having an even narrower political leadership than the one that the baby boomers were able to produce. A third of our children are born into homes with incomes that put them on or very close to the poverty line. 200,000 school-aged children live in homes without access to the internet. We have the fastest growing gap between the wealthiest and the poorest New Zealanders, and our children are most likely to be born into the homes of the poor and not the wealthy. We can't turn that around, and that reality around, as quickly as all of us in this room and those of you in your living, living rooms now would want to. But we will give those at the sharp end of this reality a pathway to political influence. We will turn on the microphones so that their voices can be heard and they can be politically empowered. Because unless we do that, we are heading towards a catastrophic narrowing of our future political, business, and social leadership. And I'll tell you what, they are going to start by voting this year. To the candidates, I reiterate that this is all new for all of us. We're making it up as we go along, and it is all about authentic public service, and you've put your hands up for that, well done. Today, you'll be scrutinized, but with care and respect, on your ability to spread the message that the vote is still a miracle, given the circumstances in other parts of the world. That mission has one goal in the short term, and that is to win party votes for internet mana. I'm sorry to say that there can be no grandiose and misplaced belief that personal electorate votes will help the challenge we are taking on to change the government and to change it this September. Those votes won't help this time round. Tattoo that reminder on your hand if it helps. We need the internet, mana, party vote to make a difference to Parliament this year. And what we offer is a way for voters to shape policy and the future in a way that no political party has ever tried to do before. Each of us, the candidates of the Internet Party and the party vote candidates for Internet Mana, will bring to this challenge our reputation and our personal integrity. By becoming candidates, we are all guardians of each other's reputations and personal integrity and the integrity and reputation of the Internet Party. So let's value ourselves, care for each other, get ready to win. This is going to be awesome. Oh, thank you very much. And yes, this is going to be awesome listening to that. Wow.